portrait, and I want to remove the background. And it's much easier if the background is out of focus, but Lightroom will still do a pretty good job at finding the subject. I'm in the Develop tab, and if you go right underneath the histogram on the right hand side, there's a little circle, and it's for making masks. And when you click on it, you have options for subject, sky, or background. I'm going to choose the subject. And it makes a pretty good mask right off the bat. I do want to invert it. So if you click on these three little dots, you can go to invert mask one. So I have the background selected minus some of the hair, which is okay. And since I want to remove the background and just make it black, I can bring the exposure down and the blacks down. So we have that removed pretty quickly and pretty easily. Sometimes you might need to play with a few other sliders. You definitely can uh, do more in Lightroom for the masks. So I want to get rid of some of these areas. So I will add with a brush. So I just clicked on the mask, subject one, add and brush. And I'm just using the trackpad with two fingers to make it bigger or smaller. You also have your slider over here. And I'm fine if I mask out some of the hair, it's not overly important. When you are in the brush mode, you can't use your trackpad to scroll anymore, so you can still navigate with the navigator over here. And if it's a little bit too soft, you can turn down the feathering so it doesn't get quite as much when you're not expecting it. Then I just like to go around and make sure there aren't any areas that I have missed or that Lightroom has missed and just do some general cleanup. And not sure what's happening here, but I might just have to fix that in Photoshop. When I'm done, it's going to turn off the mask. And then you can continue editing your picture as you normally would. You can also create a new mask of the subject. So you can now just control them or use any preset that you want. If I want to do some touch up in Photoshop, I can right click on the thumbnail down here, edit in Photoshop. I want to edit with the Lightroom adjustments. If Photoshop's not open, it'll open automatically and import the picture. And it's going to kind of use the clone stamp, which is hotkey is S to get into the clone stamp. Hold down option, you get a little target, and I can sample. And I can go around and just get rid of whatever happened in that area. And to get rid of that highlight as well. And when you save it in Photoshop, it should bring in a duplicate in Lightroom with the adjustments. So easy way to remove a background in Lightroom. You can do something very similar in Photoshop as well.